Before I get started on the following video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Pluralsight for making this video possible. Thank you, man. You've been a great help in these past videos. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back after a week of not uploading to a Dead Frontier video, everybody. So, guys, today will be a very interesting video. As you can see, I have three overpowered snipers, I think. One of them, well, is not too overpowered, but reason being why I'm making this video is because, well, people always ask me between these three weapons, a long shot, an X grand, and a bow, all right? So today we'll be talking about these three, like I said, overpowered weapons. So first things first, let's compare the prices, all right? So if you have 40 mil laying around, a uh, long shot PP10 is only 37.5 mil, okay? Uh, obviously, it's not a non- god crafted one but a god crafted one will you know be around 31 million which isn't terrible because one this weapon ain't too bad and two well it's a pretty darn powerful sniper rifle all right now let's compare it to the x grand so next grand you're looking around 35.4 mil again a non god crafted one while well, god craft one is 41 mil so just a little two mil well two mil more expensive than the long shot which again isn't that bad if you have a uh, 40 mil laying around well 41 mil <laughs> but yeah just a little tad more expensive okay and last but not least let's look at the crossbow so the crossbow you're looking around really cheap you're looking around 17.5 mil for non god craft and a god craft is going to be looking around let's see da, 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 da. oh no still not god crafting you're looking around 21.9 mil so this one this weapon isn't too expensive surprisingly because well like i said we'll be talking about the stats right now but dang 17.5 mil for non god crafting one that ain't terrible like at all <laughs> but yeah uh between these three weapons we'll be talking about which one i think is the best in terms of damage cost and stat wise so let's talk about the long shot ppt 10 all right so the long shot pp10 is a 14 millimeter uh type weapon all right it has a 28 round capacity it has a slow reload speed which isn't you know that bad compared to very slow reload speed a uh, very slow attack speed a uh, very high accuracy and very high critical chance it also does 77 damage per hit which is you know translates to 385 damage per hit and of course i have the damage boost which is a 35 percent extra you know damage and i do around like 500 damage i believe with a critical hit i, I kind of forgot it's been a minute but yeah in terms of damage it isn't too bad and like i said it's a very high critical chance so you don't need that much critical hit so the stats here that i have on my character currently isn't bad i have 120 reload so that means you'll be reloading this thing in half a second i have 85 critical hit which means i'll be hitting a lot of critical hits in every shot 120 accuracy so again it already has very high criticals i mean very high accuracy so you don't need that much accuracy but if you want to just for the loads yeah you can put them in there and yeah everything else doesn't really matter since you know agility endurance and strength should be automatically this high but yeah in terms of like these three this is honestly perfect for the long shot because again it has very high accuracy and very high critical so you don't need that much critical hit and you can possibly transfer that to you know the reload so yeah what i have here isn't too bad so the x grand is a very interesting one okay it is a 7.5 millimeter weapon uh it has a 24 round capacity it has slow reload speed as well and it has a very slow attack speed so it has the same attack speed as the long shot but where I feel like it will kill it is a high critical chance. It also has very high accuracy. So again, you can also keep it at 80 if you want to. But yeah, that high critical chance is looking a little dull. And it does 87 damage, which is, you know, translate to 435 damage. All right. Which isn't terrible. It, is, it really isn't. This is pretty good, actually. Uh, but yeah, uh, it has a high critical chance. So that's where you have to kind of, you know, redo these stats. So when it comes to high critical, I believe they told me you need at least 112 critical hit in order to start hitting constant critical hits with this weapon. So what you might want to do is switch from accuracy to critical hit because again, you want this weapon to be hitting critical hits every other, you know, shot. Not like me on the last one where I was hitting nothing but just regular shots, which kind of sucks. <laughs> it really does because, you know, you want to make every shot count. You don't you don't want to be wasting extra time with the damage and on the boss and the regular zombies. You just want to hit them twice once and just get it over over with and just move on to the next thing but yeah what i have here is a big no no you don't want to have 85 critical but because i'm too cheap to kind of do a stat reset i don't really care so i'm going to keep it at 85 but if you're going to buy this weapon you really really want to you know get it to at least 112 critical right i highly recommend doing that if you're going to buy this weapon that way this weapon shines and you know you can actually see why it's worth 41 mil but 
And last but not least, we have the crossbow, all right? So when this thing first came out, I was excited. I really was. It's a very sexy looking weapon. It has unlimited ammo, all right? That's 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 awesome. <laughs> it has unlimited ammo. You really don't have to be worrying about buying quivers or whatever with this thing. But where this kills the weapon really badly is that it has a one round capacity. It has a fast reload speed, which is great. But it has a very slow attack speed, high accuracy, and high critical chance. So that means you need to level these up. Uh, critical, you need it to be at 112. But then here comes between the two, you know? Which one do you sacrifice? In my opinion, you might want to sacrifice accuracy for reload. Because, you know, accuracy, I mean, yeah, it's nice. But like I said, the, the difference between these two weapons is that they both have very high. Well, this is just high. So your shots might be going a little bit here and there. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to deal with this weapon, you know? You need a high critical in order to make the weapon, you know, the weapon shine. But at the same time, you want high reload, so you're not spending 10 seconds reloading this gun every every inch shot, you know, because it only has one shot per clip. So, yeah, this weapon's a little tricky to kind of, you know, understand how to, you know, make it part of your arsenal. You know, that's why it's kind of worth 17 mil. It's a little on, on, the, on, the, on the sad side, but other than that, we'll see how it performs in the inner city. Uh, that's all I got for these three weapons in terms of, like, you know, uh, details. Oh, I almost forgot. The crossbow does 369 damage. Uh, in terms of like reload, uh, average damage per second is 459 and damage per hit is 565. But again, with the damage boost, you're doing around 700 damage. So yeah, this weapon is, is insane. But without further ado, enough talking. Let's get out there and find us a boss. All right, let's go. Gosh darn it, it's a new cycle. What was the cycle before? Oh man, that would have been awesome. Well, we just got to wait and see. Oh gosh darn it. Admin mean, really did this, 82% damage boost, that's gonna make every weapon look nice. Ah. But while we wait for bosses, uh, let's see how well these guys perform in the inner city. So we'll start off with the long shot, okay? Oh, man, I hate doing reviews when I have this much, you know, damage boost. Damn it. Whatever, let's let's just continue. Uh, let's just... Oh, wait, there's a boss here? Hello? Oh, wait, yeah, that's the previous cycle. Uh, so this is perfect. Great. We have aggro with the, with the you know, with snipers. So, again, oh, we still have the hounds. And again? Ooh. Hey, man, I'm taking it. <laughs> Oh, wow, first shot, 696, which again, it's not accurate, uh, just take off 82% and you'll see how much damage it does. So the good thing about the long shot is that, again, you don't need that much critical hit and every shot is almost guaranteed a critical hit. And not only that, but 14mm really isn't that expensive in the second on bunker because it's pretty much common to loot in almost every body. And every body? And every body. And as you can tell, it's already, you know, flinching these guys right off the rip, which is honestly pretty cool. <laughs> and everything that it, you know, comes in contact with would, you know, pretty much end it in one shot. So, in terms of damage, versatility, this gun is pretty much high up there. I, I love this weapon. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna go fight them in this cage. Oh my god, I almost got bit. Oh my god, there's four of them. Jeez. Oof. Damn it. I got, I got bit. I'm a noob. Alright, so I just gotta make my way to the freaking construction area. Anyway, the new site goes out, guys, but uh, I'm kind of focused more on these hounds. I feel like they're a better showcase than, uh, than any other boss. I mean, there's a flaming spider next to me, but eh, these guys are funner. All right, so this is where this guy comes in. And as you can tell already, this is the big problem with it. High critical chance. No bueno. No bueno. I'm not going to hit many critical hits, but it does a lot of damage. Again, but I'm getting excited because I, I have high critical I mean, it's, I have the, uh, what is it? 82% damage, which was, again, it's, it's, it's a beauty. It's a beautiful thing to have. But when it hits a critical, man, does this thing hit? It hits! Damn it, I'm trying to hit the infected, but I can't get through them. And yeah, this thing packs a way bigger punch than a long shot. Compared to the long shots, let's see. 696, oh, just packs it big. Alright. It's a, it's a hell of a punch. So it's not going to take long to kill these guys. If, if I keep hitting constant criticals, but again... That's the only thing I hate about this weapon is a high critical chance. I mean, Admin did have to nerf it one way or the other, because imagine this weapon hitting critical hits every other freaking shot. It'll just be your tool of power. A very high critical chance weapon like this? Jeez. It'll just destroy everything on the freaking inner city and PvP. Not much left, not much uh, hope for the guy on the other end of this weapon. Or infecting. This thing's already bloody. Look at that. It's not going to take long. There you go, and it's dead. <laughs> hey, now let's give this guy a shot. So, I love this weapon because, again, unlimited. See? Unlimited. 204 though. Look at that. But, it's very slow. Look at that. See? Very slow. But, if it was for the reload... Ooh, yeah, I do okay. That's the thing. I do a thousand damage when I hit a critical. <laughs> In terms of PvE, this thing is a freaking monster. Just just when it hits a critical, it's a 300 damage difference. Let's see. So, come on. I, hopefully I can hit a critical on this guy. Let's see. 
Come on. Come on, critical. So 787 compared to... Oh. Well, it's, it's dead because a thousand damage on any effect is going to kill it. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough. But unfortunately, it's not a great PvP weapon because they got nerfed in the PvP. Am I even doing a thousand damage on someone with a with a quiver? It's over. We don't really have. I don't even have 500 <laughs> health, you know. So if someone hits a thousand damage on me with that thing, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> All you need is the freaking crossbow. So I needed to, to get nerfed. So that's why these guys are on top because well, they didn't get nerfed in the in the PvP area that much. All right, it didn't. But this guy, yeah, this guy had to get nerfed a tremendous amount because again, it's not that fair to the uh, people on the other side. And we didn't do that much damage. I mean, we didn't do, we didn't make that much money. So let's just move on to the next boss, which is a flaming giant spider. And you see, whoa, yeah, let's just get out of here. So as you guys may know, so far my favorite weapon is the crossbow because it does a thousand damage. But here we're going to mix it up. We're going to use all three weapons. See which one just, but man, it's so hard to use because two are great for PvP, but one just sucks for PvP. But all three of them are great for boss hunting if you know how to maneuver. Unfortunately for me, I kind of lost that skill because I haven't been playing this game like crazy like back then. But back then, man... These guys will be no problem even with, even without a speed boost, but like I said, you get rusty after a while. <laughs> still no excuses. No, still no excuses, right? Anyway, let me let me whip out the X grand. Oh man, this thing is so disappointing because I don't have 112 critical. <laughs> now, let me use the crossbow. Yeah, if I can keep hitting criticals, that'd be great. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, hit a hunt. Ooh, look, he's already bloodied. <laughs> oh, oof. Uh oh. Oh boy. Wink, wink. Yeah, these guys are in the red zone, so. Yep, and he's dead. <laughs> God, it's so fun to kill them. Alright, where's the other guy? Oh, I, I. Yeah, as you can tell, I've been getting blind over the years. Man, the older you get, the more ass you become at games, isn't it, huh? Oh! But yeah, when these weapons. When, when this weapon hits critical hits and the crossbow. Oh, man, it's just. It's, it's like a nuke going off on these guys. <laughs> it's just. It won't take long before they die, you know? But yeah, the Kriver is very, very slow. Like stupid slow. There we go. But when it hits, like I said, it's like a nuke going off on them. He's already bloodied from two little hits. I mean, granted, I did hit him with the long shot and the grand. But God, dude, these weapons are great. Look at that. Oof. Oh my God. And he's dead. Oh, he died next to his brother. Nice. Get out of my way. Let's loot these guys. Uh, yikes. Nah, man, at least the looser have improved, I guess. And anyway, uh, where's the leaper? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and after getting brutally murdered by tenderos and zombies, uh, let's let's end this video right here, guys. So, in conclusion, which do I believe is the best weapon to you know buy? If say you have forty-five million laying around, in my opinion, in my wholesome opinion, for both worlds, the long shot. All right, why? All right, why? <laughs> well, for instance. It has very high critical chance, so you don't need that much critical hit in order to utilize it, alright? It has very high accuracy, and it has a 28 round capacity, and it mostly hits, you know, critical hits in both worlds, which is PvP and PvE, alright? On top of that, it's 2 mil less than the X-Garand, uh, so in terms of, like, damage per minute, they're not really far apart, alright? Second to me is the X Garand, obviously. The only issue I have with it is just the, that, that critical hit, man. You need at least 112 in order to hit constant, constant critical hits. So it, it's up to you whether you want to sacrifice accuracy or reloading, honestly. It's really up to you, but it's still a bomb of a weapon. 700 plus damage with, you know, 82% damage boost, so we're just going to subtract that. But it's still nonetheless a very sexy, sexy weapon, all right? It, it, it's also perfect for both worlds. And last but not least, the crossbow. Now we understand why it's worth only like 17 million because, well, it's very slow in hits. It's a horrible crowd controller and it's a horrible boss fighting weapon. But if you know how to maneuver, if you know how to dodge, and if you know how to actually play the game unlike me, this weapon is like a nuke hitting a zombie. You know, with the right implants and whatnot, obviously, or even without it. You know, you still hit around 600, 700 damage per hit. With uh, implants, well, with damage boosts, you can tell you're hitting 1,000 per hit, which is incredible. But the only thing, like I said, is the uh, fire speed and the reload and the critical. You know, it's just it's, it's just bad in all, you know, those three categories, you know. You need at least one soft critical hit, and you must, by default, need 120 reload. So your accuracy is going to suffer. And it doesn't, even, it doesn't even have very high accuracy. It has regular high accuracy. So now I understand why this weapon is really worth, like, 17 mil. So it kind of sucks. But, like I said, if you're a looter, uh, it'll be a perfect weapon. Unlimited ammo. 
uh, you're pretty much not taking up any space in your inventory and you can just loot and loot for hours without needing that you know the use of ammo but for pvp this thing is a piece of crap <laughs> but yeah guys that's all i got for you i hope you but yeah guys that's all i got for you i hope you guys enjoyed this video there's our money sending out and i'll see you guys very soon take it easy bye <laughs>